Warning, the following video may provide evidence supporting truths that you don't want to admit to yourself. Your discretion is advised. The problem of Q, which is funny to me, and I don't really see any way past this for religious people. Oh, really? And the problem is, let's assume that there is, that the Bible is 100% correct. Every event in the Bible is as it's supposed to be. And that this being Yahweh slash Jesus did all these events. How can we ever be sure that it wasn't some alien-like being doing it, pretending to be God? Two things about that. The better one I'll say for later in the video. Right now I just want to point out that even if there is no reason that that can't be the case, and ultimately I only intend to demonstrate that it's very unlikely, the fact that it's possible does not imply that it's probable. So by making this argument, you are already inherently committing a possibility fallacy. Stuff like Star Trek and whatnot could recreate many of the things that Yahweh supposedly did. Science fiction is typically a very poor source for factual information about reality. Even if it's not just you know, faking stuff using the holodeck. Except we're not in a holodeck, are we? We're on Earth. Now, I remember Dean Kuhn's book that had a really great line from it. You know, there's the old saying, Technology billions of years more advanced than ours would look like magic. What well, the reverse would be true also. In the age of reason, magic would look like technology millions or billions of years more advanced than ours. So how can you ever be sure that what you're looking at actually is God? I'm not 100% sure, nor do I actually have to be. Your entire argument, as I said before, is resting on a single possibility fallacy, namely, if it is possible that Jesus was an alien, therefore, if the Bible is true, then Jesus is far more likely to have been an alien. I can think of some refutations you could have to that point, but I don't want to attack any straw men. The solution to this so-called problem of Q is simply the issue of motivation. An alien would have no reason to essentially be Jesus and come down and get tortured to death, uh, unless that was a hologram, in order to, in order, well, well actually that's the point, in order to do nothing, in order to accomplish nothing whatsoever. Because any being bad enough could fake being God. This is another logical fallacy, this time a non sequitur. Because could does not imply would, let alone did. So, really, it's just a different form of the possibility fallacy that you've been committing. God could appear to an advanced civilization, like some sort of advanced being. So, what is the method you would be able to use? I could buy the idea that Yahweh or Jesus exists, but... To be intellectually honest, I have to question whether or not there's any actual evidence that could ever prove to me that God exists. And for the theist, do you have anything that could get beyond this problem? Or for any atheist, do you have anything that could get beyond this problem? Because I'm not quite sure there ever is. Once again, the two I just cited. You're committing a possibility fallacy, and... An advanced being, even if it ultimately lived forever, would never do this. It would not have a reason. And if it's that unbelievably advanced as Q from Star Trek allegedly is, it would be, at least from my point of view, unlikely that this being would waste its time with the kind of immature practical jokes that Q regularly does. You could bring it to within reasonable doubt that it's godlike being, but could it be the true definition of God, not just some super powerful being claiming to be God? Yes, it could, but for the upteenth time, possible does not imply probable. You are committing a possibility fallacy with this argument. Because all we really have is the Bible, and of course, the theist might argue that, well, Jesus would never argue or lie. The Bible says you wouldn't. Well, 
you're basically trusting his claim that he would never lie, that he isn't going to lie. And even the Bible says, you know, he lies. I'm sorry, where does the Bible say that it contains inaccurate information and or lies? I may have misheard you or misunderstood you, because I don't honestly think you're dumb enough to think that you would have gotten away with that. So, so what exactly would you use? What criteria would you use to get beyond this? Because I'm pretty curious about this. You know, because any alien back then could have faked many of the things. Could does not mean would, which does not mean did. That's two non sequiturs, and they're packaged in such a way that it's also a possibility fallacy. Or, well, I guess uh, you are jumping straight from could to did, or from could to probably did, but in my view, you have to get through would also. And how do you know that it is possible to, with sufficient technology, turn water into fine wine, or to heal people like Jesus did? And you really have to account for the casting out of demons. Remember, the more aliens you involve, the more difficult to believe it will get. I don't believe the Bible is true or any events, but I'm just saying, you know, even if we granted you that, you still have problems with the idea that it's supposedly God. As I have demonstrated, Wolfwing, no, it is not a problem at all. I hope I get to see you respond to this, because Wolfwing is kind of like my stalker. He's made a response to, I think, every Christian video I have made since I started making a lot more of them more recently. With, I think, the exception of Proof Jesus was a copycat JRPG character. And Earthquakes of Irrationality, which I'm expecting a response to probably before I'm even finished uploading this.